I hear at least once a week, but probably more often from somebody who says something like this. <laughs> my daughter or my son was going to regular school, but very unhappy, mm. was resisting going to school. We were sending this child to a psychologist to try to get them over this psychological problem that was creating their fear of school or their distaste for it. Then I came to your site or I read your book or I read your article and it gave my husband and me <laughs> the courage. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm losing my headphones here. <laughs> uh, gave us the courage to try it out to see if there's mm. some alternative here. And in some cases, the alternative they chose was uh, homeschooling, which kind of veered into unschooling, where the child is really in charge of what they're learning, or going to a, a, a very kind of radically alternative school, sometimes a school such as the Sudbury Valley School, which is a school my own son went to, and which I, where I've done much of my own research, where children are in charge of their learning. And then at some point, this person said, you know, this is really working. Uh, we're not only is my child happier, but we're all happier as a family. Mm. We're not we're not fighting with our child anymore. We're on his side or her side. Mm -hmm. This is very. This is the kind of generic story that I've heard over and over with various various different twists to it. Mm -hmm. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.